Well, hello guys, guys Nice here. Today we're gonna do a hunting tutorial. We're gonna start here. At create a character, custom. So out of all these people here, Kamolian and Altrav are about your best bet for people to hunt with. So I'm gonna pick Kamolian since most likely you're a newer person if you're. If you're uh, looking at this, so uh, what do we got here? Tab. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, Alvy, why not? Let's see. I got another like hunter. He looks like a hunter too. Kind of like the first guy. Let's roll with him. All right. So for hunting time of year doesn't really matter that much. If you start in the spring, there's about like a two week period where you can actually dry your food. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll start with the classic one. Alright, so on this page here, just about everything on here really counts towards hunting. But what you really want is speed and eyesight. That's probably the most important reason why that's important, you want speed so you can run the animal down, eyesight so you can shoot your bow or whatever weapon it is you're picking. Hearing can be good too though, so let's re-roll here. Keep going until we get a speedy person. There we go, that looks pretty good. We ain't got much intelligence or will. Great agility. I think that will do us good. Alright, so over here. In the skills menu, one of the most important things here is hide working. We already have a 42, which is pretty good. Wow, my guy can dodge like crazy. Knife, spear, and bow. Wow, he's really good. That's one of the reasons why you want to pick one of these people. They're really, really good at just about all the combat and hunting stuff. Where we got plus. Yeah, we're going to go for stealth. I'm going to make hide working better. Uh, since it's hot and we ain't worried about that. We might as well go boiler though so we can make a bow. Gotta go carpentry so we can make arrows. Know what we want last. Feel like we better go with bow skill. I guess it's 70, 75 or an expert. <laughs> Alright, as far as this goes. You look down here at the bottom, it says cultural regions. Hit that so you can tell where you want to start at. This is the actual starting region of the people, but usually being close to the tricks is a good thing, but I'm just going to randomize it. I'm just going to close my eyes and hit R 10 times, and then we're going to see where we start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, where are we at? Right in the middle of the map? That sounds good. Now one thing about these, when you look at this, anywhere that doesn't have a cultural region is good hunting. And I found too that right in the middle of the map is about the best for everything. Up here is really good for reindeer. And like, bears and stuff are a little bit better down here, but not by much. They're pretty much everywhere. Alright, so let's get on in there and play this world. So if you're going to be a hunter, right here, unfortunate hunting trips about your best bet. It says your father lies dead on the ground, and the beast who killed him is still present. Ooh, the beast. But the reason why you want to do this one is there's a really good chance that you're going to start with a bow and arrow. I'm not going to do the course. We're just going to go straight on real world. Oh god, there's dad. Alright, so let's see what he had on him. Another reason why this is a good start is a lot of times he'll start. We have a whole bunch of extra clothing to start with. We gotta find spear, that's good. Rough broad knife sucks, but it, it's, I mean, it doesn't suck. It's better than nothing for sure. Broad knives are really good for skinning hides, but they're not good for combat as much. Honey knives are what you want for combat. Alright, let's see what old dad had on him. 
Hopefully he had a no no bow for us. Did have two hand axes though. We could probably sell one of these. Take all your oh wow, an elk fur. <laughs> well, it must have been successful. That the Owl Tribe, I think it is. See the Owl Tribe people have the best bow in the game in order on bow. See if maybe we can go get one of those off of them people. A forest ranger already. <laughs> well, I guess we can start the tutorial. Alright, so. One thing about hunting in any place like this where it says carnivorous forest. It's very, very difficult to hunt your animals up in here. Mostly because you can't track them very well. Oh, there's a little one up there. Waist deep snow with hard crust. Oh god, we ain't catching nothing. <laughs> but the main idea here is you want to just make the animal run, run, run until they run out of stamina. Which is one of the issues with hunting in a carnivorous forest. I'm going to give up here very shortly because I know how futile this is. One thing you can do is you can try to hide in some trees or something. Sometimes you'll get lucky. No, I'm not seeing nothing. Alright, I'll try people. How are you all doing today? Talk to this old man, see what he's got going on. Hi, I'm Albie Coolian. How are you, buddy? Scarlet, nice to meet you, buddy. How's it going? You stone a lot, heard that. Uh, looks like our ideas. I get in here, holy crap, is everyone's huddled up in here? There we go, one northern bow. There we go, 12 arrows. Oh, we're only gonna grab six. I won't even be able to afford all that. What are my items be for in this trade? Hmm. You take a hand axe? <laughs> Double, huh? How about the up for? I feel like that was too good of a deal. <laughs> Let's try it again. No, they accept real easy like that. It's usually like means you gave them too much. Pleasantly close. Yeah, I definitely gave them too much. So what else do we got? There we go. Gave a couple arrows back. We should be like, okay, it's a deal, buddy. Thank you, sir. Yay, we got ourselves a bow. There we go, some wild pigs. Coming for you, Mr. Piggy. Take a look at him. A wild boar shaped figure in the distance. That'll be right there. Alright, so we've got. This is about the best way to do it. If you find them on the zoomed out map and I walk up to them, they'll usually be a decent distance away from them. If you have to, you have to, like, hunt them. For real, like walk through the woods, pick up their tracks, and walk after them. It's very difficult. We're gonna try to whack him with an arrow here. Let's go for a body shot. There we go, got him good. All you got, what we want to do is hit L and then you look at him and you see what it says. Escaping wounded big wild boar is suffering from serious puncture in its abdomen, bleeding. So that means that he shouldn't be able to go for very hard. He should wear out, we should be able to get him. Try to get him again. There we go. Alright, now he's mad at us. So we gotta get our spear ready. Come here, you darn pig. Alright, let's zoom in on him. One spear point to the head. Oh, I missed him completely. <laughs> I'm not gonna run after him because he's pretty messed up, so he should get fatigued very quickly here. Yeah, he's already slightly fatigued. Once we kill him, we'll get fire going to help us push him. Let's just dodge. You're doing combat here. If you have a good dodge, pick that. Counter strikes usually for when you think the enemy's not going to be able to get you. 
ignores just straight ignore. He just lets the attack come. Usually there's a block on here. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. But whatever, we'll dodge. Wild boar can definitely kill you, so you gotta be careful with these guys. Here, piggy. Say so you can't possibly last much longer. Now, the other thing, too, about him. It says it's slightly fatigued, so he's not that fatigued yet. If you keep stabbing him and stuff, it'll hurt the hides a lot more than if you hit him with the blunt end of the, of the weapon. So we're going to try that here. Speed up as he is. He shouldn't be able to hit us too much. Haha, <laughs> got it. Now I'm just going to use the point. We're going to stab him right in the skull. To tell you the truth, the neck, the neck actually works better, but it messes up the hide more. So I'm going to go with spat. He's bleeding from his skull. So let's sit here and wait a little bit, see if he bleeds out. Nope. <laughs> Damn you, pig. Go down. There we go. Better bash him again. There we go. I finally got him. <laughs> Take that, you pig. Alright, let's get some branches. Cut this bad boy down. Got all of you there. Make a big old fire. We can never make one here. There we go. All my water is gone. Keep my last flat flatbread. Alright, so. Anytime you get a kill, the very first thing you want to do is go right here and go to hide me. Pick skin and animal. Always do that first. If you butcher him first, it'll uh, take the skin away from you. So we definitely want the skin. Let's see what we get out of him. Probably not too great a one. Decent one? Well, we'll take it. All right, now next, butcher him up. There we go. Wow, we got a lot of meat up in him. Must have been a gigantic boy. Since I don't have any way to preserve the meat, we're just going to roast it up. We're going to trade it for meat from villagers. All right, tan hide. Now, the one thing that's nice about pigs, if you want leather, they automatically turn into leather. They don't make fur, so... Keep that in mind when you're hunting animals. Every other animal is a long process to go through. Hey right, guys, let's go out here and see if we can't find another animal. This time I'll show you guys a harder way to do it. Alright guys, I was stumbling around here, ran into a badger. There he is, darn badger. So, uh, I guess we're going to demonstrate the hunting techniques here on this guy. They're a little easier to hunt than like reindeer and stuff. They can't quite get away from this much. But I'll show you the gist of what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we walk up to him and get him running. See how he's running? Now we're going to run. Let's kind of keep up with him a little bit. Once he gets out of sight, then we'll go back to walking. Hopefully we'll be able to get up on him again. There he is. Let's take a look at him. Slightly fatigued? Yeah. Oh, he's got us get really close. Wow. Oh, we'll take a chance at him. Point to the head. Haha, <laughs> got him good. <laughs> take that, you dirty badger. I'm just going to pick up the whole body because he's not very heavy. There you go. That's how you hunt the smaller animals. Just run them down. No need to waste an arrow or anything like that on them. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to do this the way that I said before. We're just going to run him down. Oh, my character must be really fast. Nine miles an hour running. <laughs> wow. Like you said, what you want to do is you don't want to constantly run after him. You just want to keep... Like a lot of times you can just walk after him. Let's take a look at him and see if he's getting breathless yet. Oh, he's fatigued. Nice. Didn't take long. All this snow probably screwing him up. 
Yeah, we're all that stupid up with it because he's so tuned. Should be able to get up on him in a second. Yeah, come here, Mr. Elk. You know you can't get away. That's why speed is so important now. It's how you can run the animals down. Escaping elk, it looks breathless. It's getting. Hopefully he doesn't kick us to death or something. <laughs> Alright, we got one fine spear. Point to his head. Wow, might like get him real easy here. Point to the skull. Starts bleeding. We'll blunt to his skull to see if we can't get him to die. There we go, we finally got him. There you go, that's, that's how you do it right there. Just uh, get on the animal, make sure that you're following his tracks. It's a little easier in the snow, but you should be able to do it any time of year. And you just got to keep on them. Like, you can't let them stop for too long. And just constantly keep hitting the L button and looking at them. If it's saying that, like, if you don't see their, their fatigue going from slightly fatigued to fatigued to breathless, that means you ain't pressing them hard enough. You got to press them hard. Just keep on them until they eventually have to fall over and out of breath. And you just walk up to them and simply kill them. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Yeah, we can dry our meat. That's one thing that's nice about the start, starting in the old spring. As long as there's snow on the ground, a lot of times you can do this. Well, so I was messing around here and just uh, had some time on my shoulder. But you know, a wolf came up to my camp. Oh god, let's see what happens here. Let's take off our spear. We're gonna wield our northern bow and some arrows. <laughs> Did he poop over there? <laughs> yeah, I know what you want, buddy. You want my stuff. We're gonna go ahead and take a shot at him. Oh god, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, this might be a bad idea. Get out of here, whoops. Oh, he's running away. Good. That's what we want. God, we ran into a whole wolf pack. That was very dangerous. <laughs> These wolves keep being a problem around here, so I'm thinking I'm going to try to hunt them down. See how bad it goes. <laughs> There's at least three or four of them. Yeah, one thing I want to tell you about tracking is the better your tracking still is, mine's confident, so I can tell pretty well. The more info you'll get from the from looking at their tracks. All right, you dirty wolves, coming for you. Oof! <laughs> He's growling at me. Oh, we got an arrow for you. Let's see if we can get one. Nope. It's a pretty far shot. There we go. We got him that time. Please from the skull, huh? He might just drop dead. Keep our arrows ready. Kill all you wolves if I can. That should be a little bit fatigued, huh? Ooh. <laughs> wow, horrible shot there. Grab our other arrow. Gotta make sure these bastards don't get around. There's the one that's going to it. You drop my arrow over there. Alright, which one of you was that? Let's do that one. Still bleeding, huh? That's the guy I'm good at, he's still bleeding. Yep, he's about dead. Hopefully his buddies don't. Don't come messing with us. Let him sit here and die. Maybe he'll die bleed out on us. Looks like, yep, there he goes. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna pick this whole wolf up. Shouldn't be too terribly heavy. 66 pounds heavy. That bastard, bastard draw my freaking thing. Get out of my house, you darn wolves. If I keep attacking them, they'll probably start attacking me. We'll see what happens. There we go. Got him good. Yeah, here comes one coming for us. 
probably got an arrow ready for him. <laughs> Can't miss much worse than that. Hey, what the hell are you even shooting at, buddy? Alright, he's really close, so we should be able to get a shot on him. It is harder to hit stuff that's moving fast. There we go, nailed the hub. Walking lame. Yeah, grab me all you want, buddy. I'm probably more fatigued than they are, I watch out. Alright, we're gonna give up on these wolves. If they're running me ragged, eventually they'll get me if I don't be careful. One fine wind scan coming up. Yeehaw. There we go. Oh, that was a successful hunt. I scared there for a little bit, but we got them. Gotta watch for the wolves. Sometimes they will turn on you. Yeah, I've seen as many as like 10 wolves in a freaking pack before, so. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Make sure you know how many you're fighting. It's all something moving at distance on it. Could be a wolf. Alright guys, our tutorial is winding to an end here, so I wanted to go over all the hunting tips, condense them down into the end here. So first we're going to go over hunting spots. As you see right here, this is about the best kind of area you can possibly hunt in. All of these open areas, it's much easier to run your game down than it is in these woods. You can get away with it in the... Uh, I forget what kind of woods, heathland woods, but in these carnivorous forests, you want to really avoid them for hunting if you can. I have had success in there on occasion, but it's not easy for sure. Another good thing I wanted to show you guys about, if you're like near a lake or something, like you see these, see these like big bodies of water here. If you can force the animals into these and then just kind of just keep walking back and forth around the out part of the of the water you can really get it easily next thing we're going to talk about here is hunting equipment so what you really want you want yourself one kind of melee weapon whatever you're good at and some kind of range weapon range weapons are going to help you a lot if you can see the animal shoot your bow at it, throw a javelin at it, whatever you have, and hopefully you can get a wound on it. That makes it a lot easier to push around. So once it gets wounded, it's going to get fatigued a lot faster. And if it happens to be a dangerous animal, it'll help keep it from being able to beat you up so bad in hand-to-hand -hand combat as well. Another part of equipment is your armor. So in the winter time, obviously, you want to wear whatever it takes to keep you warm. But when it's in the summertime and it's warmer out, try to try to go really light. That way you can carry more of the animals' meat once you butcher them. Like a, an elk, a lot of times will have so much meat you'll almost never be able to pick it up all by yourself. So just keep that in mind when you're hunting. But as far as type of game that you want to hunt. Your biggest, most profitable one are going to be reindeer and then elk. Now, the reason why I would say go out for those ones first is to get a lot of meat, and they're usually not too dangerous. I have had both reindeer and elk like kick me before and stuff, but I've rarely ever gotten seriously injured doing that. When you go to the more dangerous games, like you see when I was fighting the wolves earlier, that's not recommended. If you can get one wolf by himself, it's usually not too bad, but when you get a lot of them, my God, it's really easy for them to surround you and take you down. So keep that in mind when you're hunting wolves. When it comes to bears, bears too can be pretty dangerous. They're the kind of animal they usually have trouble like hitting you for whatever reason, but when they do, they hit hard. So when you're, when you're hunting bears, try to hit them with an arrow and then back off, let them bleed out a little bit. You don't really want to engage them in hand to hand combat if you can. It can help it, you know. All right, guys, this is Kutho saying goodbye, and I hope you have lots of fun gaming out there.